Welcome to Prep Clip. I'm meteorologist Sam Lashley, and we're going to talk about emergency weather preparedness today. Indiana has seen its fair share of big events in the spring when it comes to severe weather. Palm Sunday 1965 and April 3rd, 4th, 1974 are the most famous and most remembered events. Devastating tornadoes moved across the state, killing many and injuring hundreds. We need to be prepared for that kind of severe weather here in Indiana, and that's what we are doing here today. Between 2010 and 2020, 14 people have lost their lives to tornadoes. All of those came on March 3rd, 2012. However, severe thunderstorms have killed 28 people in that same span. Severe thunderstorm winds can be just as deadly or more deadly than tornadoes. So when you hear a severe thunderstorm warning or a tornado warning, you should always take cover, get to an interior room, get to a basement, don't take warnings for granted. In Indiana, it's not uncommon to see four to six to even eight inches of rain in a short amount of time. That can lead to flooding across the state. Low-lying areas, streams, creeks, rivers, all can create very deadly conditions from flooding. It's up to you to stay dry when the water's high. Get to a high ground when flood warnings are issued. Don't mess around and think it's not gonna happen to you because it can. With that kind of heavy rain, water fills culverts very quickly and can easily overtake roads, wash out roads and bridges, and you won't be able to see that washout when you're driving up on it. So remember, if you're driving in a car, turn around, don't drown. The National Weather Service issues watches, warnings, and advisories to help keep you safe during severe weather. You'll often hear the term watch, severe thunderstorm watch, or tornado watch. What does that mean? Well, that means conditions in the atmosphere are favorable for severe storms to develop. And that's when you should have a plan for what you're going to do when we issue a warning. A warning means those conditions have been observed, a severe thunderstorm has developed, we're either seeing it on radar or we have trained weather spotters reporting severe weather to us. When you hear a warning, that's the time you should be taking cover, getting to an interior room, or getting to a basement. Always stay away from windows, electrical appliances, and wait for the storm to pass before you come out of that area. Advisories are issued when conditions don't quite meet life-threatening conditions, but still may put you at risk if you're out and not paying attention. So when you know an advisory is in effect, listen to the call to action statements, heed, heed the information in those advisories, and take it easy and don't take any chances. In the springtime, you wanna have a way to get your watches and warnings any time of the day or night. So we recommend a NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio. This device is going to set alarm and set off at night during the day whenever you want it. You can program it and it will alert you to any kind of severe weather as it develops and moves in. So when the National Weather Service issues a warning, you will instantaneously get that alert on a NOAA weather radio. Over 95% of the United States is covered by weather radio transmitters that will alert you anywhere you go. So whether you're on vacation or at home, always have a NOAA weather radio. Before storms approach, it's a good idea to have preparedness tips ready to go. For example, fill your bathtub full of water, have that available for flushing toilets, for washing dishes, for just to have extra water on hand. Make sure you have plenty of bottled water. You want about a 72 hour supply of that so you have clean drinking water. Have your electronics fully charged and have battery backups to use just in case power's out for a long period of time. Before severe thunderstorms, it's best to go out and secure any loose objects. Tie things down, move things inside, make sure nothing is outside that's gonna blow away. It's always great to have extra necessities on hand for when the power goes out or severe weather keeps you at home. So it's recommended that you have a 72 hour supply of emergency supplies to keep you healthy and safe during storms if that powers out. So you wanna have water, medicines, battery chargers for your electronics, uh, battery operated radio to stay informed of local conditions. And even if you have a generator to keep power going, you wanna make sure to observe safety conditions with that. So remember, 
go to ready.gov and look for what you can put in your emergency supply kit. If you have plans to be out on a stream or a river kayaking or canoeing, make sure you check conditions before you go out. Our website, weather.gov, has all the information on area rivers and streams and the levels that they're at.